Hello everyone. So in this video, we will learn how to automatically track new OneDrive files in a Google Sheet. So basically, we are going to begin with a small example. So as you can see, this is my OneDrive account. So the idea is that I upload a file here and it will be added as a row in our Google Sheet. Let me show you the experiment. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to upload a file. So I'm going to upload a PNG image. The name of the image is let's say Ferrari. Okay, so this is the image. And let me just open this. So this image is getting uploaded from my desktop into my OneDrive account. So the image has been uploaded. Okay, so now the idea is that this image will be added as a row in my Google Sheet. Now there is something I have to tell you. OneDrive actually takes a significant amount of time to send the data. So maybe we have to wait maybe just five or six minutes to receive the data in Google Sheet. So basically, I'm going to pause it for five, six minutes. And after that, when the data arrives in Google Sheet, I will show you. OK, so as you can see, after a delay of five, six minutes, we have got the file. So this is uh, not a problem from Pablis and this is a problem from OneDrive and it gives uh, these uh, data after an appreciable de delay of, let's say, two, three or five, six, even 10 minutes. So basically, you have to wait. OK, so now your obvious question is, how did I do it? How did I manage to send the data of the uploaded file in OneDrive into Google Sheet? So basically, here I have used an integration and automation software called as Public Connect that integrates OneDrive and Google Sheets. Now, the best part of using Public Connect is there is actually no need for coding skills or programming knowledge. Let me show you the process. So basically, in the new tab, all you have to do is just type pabli.com. Pabli.com it is. Okay, so this is the website of pabli.com. Let me just click on sign in. Okay, so this is the dashboard of Pabli Connect. As you can see, I already have made an account in Pabli Connect. You can also create your own free account in just two minutes. Let me just uh, scroll down and here you will find connect. Just click on access now. Okay, so basically we are going to create a new workflow to integrate OneDrive and Google Sheet. Now, before I create a new workflow to integrate OneDrive and Google Sheet, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to switch off an old workflow. So as you can see, this old workflow has already integrated OneDrive and Google Sheet and that is why we have got the data here. Now, I have switched off this workflow. The reason is if I don't switch off this workflow and if I create a new workflow, there will be the problem of duplication of result. Basically, it means that if there are two workflows running in parallel to each other for one uploaded file in OneDrive, there will be two data rows in Google Sheet. I really don't want that. So I have switched off this workflow. OK, so it is none of your concern because we are going to start from scratch by clicking on create workflow. OK, so we are going to give a name to this workflow. How about OneDrive to Google Sheet? OneDrive to Google Sheet and let me just uh, click on create. Okay, so when you click on create, a window appears in front of you. So basically, this is the trigger window. Now in the choose app, how about we make it as OneDrive. So basically, we are going to create a new workflow to integrate OneDrive and Google Sheet. Now if you want to access this workflow, the link of this workflow is available in the description box. You simply can clone the template. Now in the trigger event, how about we make it as new file. So new file is a trigger event. So your obvious question is what is the trigger event? Trigger is basically a if statement. It asks a question if this condition is met, what should be done? For example, if a new file is uploaded in my OneDrive, then what action should be taken by the system? At present, we only have uh, one trigger event. Now in case if you want more trigger events, go to the help section, click here. And uh, when you click on the help section, you will be directed to Pabli forums and you can make a request that you want so and so trigger events. OK, so let's go back to Pabli connect and let me just click on connect. In the new connection name, let me just click on connect with Microsoft OneDrive. OK, so it is uh, trying to sign me in. Let me just uh, scroll down and let me just press allow access. Yes. OK, so it is trying to authorize. Give it one or two seconds. Yes, authorization successful. Just press OK. So we have two fields, set folder path and event type. So let's deal with the event type. So basically, we want to send the data when a new file is created or uploaded in my OneDrive account. Now it is asking what folder? What is that folder in which you are going to upload the file? So we basically have to mention the folder path. Now there is a method to mention the folder path. Let's start with the easy one. 
so let me just uh, take you to my files okay so these are all the files that is present in my onedrive account and uh, these are the folders so let's say i'm going to upload in this particular folder okay so this is the folder i'm sorry this is the folder okay this is the folder and the name of the folder is uh, g drive dropbox so i'm going to upload the file in this particular folder so what i'm going to do here is i'm just going to uh, copy the name g drive dropbox okay so this is the name of the folder so basically i'm just going to copy this and i'm going to paste it here okay so i have entered the folder path so basically this is the case if uh, you want to upload a file in a specific folder now what happens if you upload a file in a subfolder let me show you the subfolder so let me just straight away go back to my files and let me just go to my documents oh i'm sorry documents and as you can see inside documents there is one more folder so basically this is a subfolder we click this and inside this subfolder we have one more folder okay that is called subfolder 1 so i'm planning to upload file in this specific folder so how would be the folder address so this is how you do it you again uh, open a notepad or uh, any other means and let me just uh, type documents slash folder one slash sub folder okay so this is our path or basically our address we simply copy this and we are just going to paste it here easy okay so basically when i click on save and send test request it will fetch the data of the recently uploaded folder now in our case the recently uploaded folder is of a ferrari car as you may remember this is the file that we had uploaded now what i'm going to do here is uh, i'm just uh, going to upload a new file okay so how about i upload a lamborghini okay so lambo.png let me just open this okay so the file is getting uploaded lambo.png okay so this is the file yeah this is the file the file has been uploaded which is a png file so when i go to public connect and when i click on save and send test request it will fetch the data of the recently uploaded file in this specific in this specific folder the name of the folder is subfolder dash one and this is the folder path document slash folder one slash subfolder dash one okay so let me just uh, show you the name of the file that has been uploaded okay so as you can see we do have the data of lambo.png because this is the recently uploaded file so this is basically the url so this is basically the url that we are going to add into our google sheet so let me just copy this url and let me just open this in a new tab so you will really understand what is going on so as you can see it is showing the image excellent and there is one more detail that we can add in our google sheet that is the time it was uploaded so basically this is the time that it was uploaded this is in a utc format that mentions um, year month and day and then hours minutes and seconds okay so we are going to add this detail also into our google sheet so to include this over into our google sheet first of all let me just click on this plus button and in the choose app we have to mention it as google sheet so basically this is my action window now i'm planning to create a new google sheet okay so what i'm going to do here is i'm just going to google sheet and i'm going to create a new google sheet for uh, this specific subfolder in which the files are going to get uploaded a lot so let me just uh, start from scratch i'm going to click on this blank okay so we are going to give a name to this uh, google sheet how about OneDrive new uploaded files okay so yeah that would do OneDrive new uploaded files so let me just take you back to public connect and let me just choose the action event as add new row so your obvious question is why we have kept the action event as add new row so i will explain you in a minute so first of all we are just going to add the column called as name so basically inside these columns the names of all the files that has been uploaded will come and here basically the date and time the date at which that uh, file has been uploaded and of course the url okay so now coming to your question why we have kept the action event as add new row this is because the idea is that all the files all the data of the files will be inserted into adjacent rows one by one so first this row will be inserted then this row and then this row so basically that's the gist 
I will really show you what's happening. Let me just click on connect. Okay, so in the new connection name, let me just click on new connect with Google Sheet. And this uh, particular Google Sheet that we have recently created is present in this uh, Gmail account. So I'm selecting this one. Okay, so now it is asking me to confirm my choice. So before I press allow, let me just tell you something. Pavli Connect doesn't take any chances with your data. Your data is 100% safe and secure with us. So on the basis of that trust, let me just press allow. Authorization successful, just press OK. Excellent. So by default, it is already showing the spreadsheet that is OneDrive new uploaded files. And when we click this, we will find all the... So basically, these are all the files that is present in my Google Drive account. Now out of all these uh, files, we have to select one particular uh, spreadsheet. That is this. That is OneDrive new uploaded files. The reason is we are just going to append all the data into this uh, particular spreadsheet. That is why. Now in the sheet, it is by default showing sheet one. That is because we only have one sheet. That is sheet one. Okay. Now let's start map mapping the details. So we have the name and this is how you map. You go to the first accordion and uh, you just map the name. So this is the name that is lambo.png easy now we have the date and this is the date that it was created as i mentioned this is the utc time that is year month day hours minutes and seconds and this is milliseconds or something and then we have the url so basically this is the url i have opened this in a new tab and i have shown you so basically this is the url so at this point we have mapped sufficient details all we have to do is just click on save and send test request let me do that Okay, so the response is showing a very positive thing that is the file data has been sent. So let's have a look. So yeah, we have got the name, the date and the URL. Excellent. So the presence of this data in our Google Sheet shows that we have successfully integrated OneDrive and Google Sheet with help of Public Connect. Now before you leave, let me just explain you the whole mechanism in a nutshell. So let me just minimize the action window and let me just minimize the trigger window. So basically this is the whole process in a nutshell. First you integrated OneDrive to Public Connect and then you have integrated Public Connect to Google Sheet. So now there is a perfect flow of data between OneDrive and Google Sheet. Excellent.